Google Analytics has a lot of great reports built in that are available right out of the box. Sometimes, however, the questions you might want to answer might be slightly different than the built-in reports. And that is where report customization comes in handy. Let's talk about a couple of scenarios in which you might want to edit one of the built-in reports or create a custom report from scratch. You need to see a different primary dimension in a report table. You'd like to add or remove metrics from a report. You'd like to change the chart type displayed. You need to create a report from custom metrics or dimensions that are not available in the out-of-the-box standard reports. Let's explore some of these scenarios in detail. First, we'll start by editing an existing report, since this is the simplest way to customize a report in Google Analytics. Let's start from the traffic acquisition report. This report is organized by the dimension of the session default channel group. However, you may wish to see this report displayed by campaign, source, or medium instead. This is a simple customization that we can make quickly in the UI. In the upper right-hand corner, click the pencil edit icon. This will take you into the report customization screen. Click into the dimensions tile on the right-hand side to get the list of dimensions included in this report. Here, you'll see a full list of the dimensions already included, plus the ability to add in additional dimensions if desired. For this example, let's make the session source medium dimension the primary report dimension, since this is a very commonly used view of acquisition data. To do so, click the three dots on the right side of the tile for session source medium and select set as default, and then hit apply. This will make that dimension the default or the first one you see in the list when the report loads. Let's also edit the chart type shown to only include the line chart. If you click into either of the chart links, you'll see the option to choose between a line chart, a bar chart, and a scatter plot. For this report, however, we just want to hide one of the charts. To do so, we can just click the eye icon to the left of the bar chart tile, which will hide the chart. Lastly, you'll want to save this report. You have two choices when you save. The first is to save the changes to the current report, which would overwrite the report that is currently in the property. The second option is to save as a new report. This will create a net new report for you in your property. When you save a report in this way, be sure to give it a meaningful name. In this example, we'll save as a new report and call it session source medium. Next, let's create a new report from scratch. To do so, you'll again need the appropriate level of access to edit reports. Navigate to the library section, which you can find at the bottom of the report's left-hand subnav. Scroll down and click the blue button for Create New Report and choose Create Detail Report. This will take you to a page that allows you to either start from scratch or start from a template. Starting from a template would be very similar to what we just did with the session source medium change where we modified an existing acquisition report. If we were to start from the traffic acquisition template, the process would look the same. This time, let's go ahead and start from scratch. So click blank. This opens up a blank report where we'll need to select the metrics and dimensions that will be included. For this example, let's build a custom report with one of the custom dimensions we're collecting in the Google Merchandise Store. Specifically, we'll add the custom dimension called member level which tells us what status tier a customer belongs to. We'll look at this alongside the metrics of sessions, total users, purchases, and total revenue, which we'll add from the metrics picker on the right-hand side of the screen. Once we've added these metrics and dimensions, we are ready to save this as a new report. Click Save to save it as a new report, give it a name, we'll call it Member Info, and click Save once again. Now that we've created custom reports, both from a pre-existing report and from scratch, we can use these for our regular analysis in the reporting UI by adding them to the left-hand nav. We'll cover that in the next lesson.